wouldn't it, it would take a brave man to leave Hagerty and Keane Lynch on the bet. Like they're both brilliant players. Like and when they're on form, there's there's few as good as them, but they're not playing well. Peter Casey, it's, it's surprising to ever see him on the bench. Do you think John Kiley would go and just maybe use the two of them as substitutes, Lee, or would it take a very brave man? I'm going to say something, Shane. I won't be the most popular guy in the world for saying this. I think last year, with Keen being out injured last year, um, you know, when you're when you're out injured off off the pace of an intercounty hurler, um, you know, you and Keen worked through the whole the whole thing through. I think Keen got a little bit muscle bound. I think um, I think he's put up a few pounds, and it's not in terms of weight; it's in terms of strength. I think he's he's put up a little bit of um, a little bit too much muscle. Right, and I think he's lost that half yard of pace this year. Um, that dynamic runs that he was running always seemed to be able to get away from the man. And I think that is one of the things that they're going to have to look at with Kean. I think maybe less would be more at this time of the year um, for him at the moment in terms of, you know, it just doesn't seem to be sticking. That magical touch does, you know, all those flicks and stuff that created space for him. I don't think that has happened. And I just think that been out of the game literally for 12 months as he was last year with that injury bar playing what the first or second round last year when he tore the hamstring badly so from that point of view I just think that what that's one of the things that Limerick are going to have to look at I think the freshness um is not there with Kean and Garrod at the moment and I know John being John um I think John John will make those hard decisions and I think that it's not something that they'll shy away from but certainly it'll all go down to training um, recuperation today and t- today and tomorrow. Um, probably go at it again, maybe tomorrow night, and then take it from there and see see where the the lie of the land is because they can shake it up. There's a lad there. Um, I you think a lot of that's on the Limerick panel is Aidan O'Connor. Um, I think Aidan could will offer Limerick a lot in the future. Maybe is is it now the time to throw him in there? Um, I think his work rate needs to be up a little bit. But certainly they have options. The Cahill and Neil factor, as we mentioned already, is another thing. to have the reliance on Cahill now that he can come in. Um, and like, just, just look, six to one, half a dozen, the other shit. Do you mm. think, Leo, that Keane has ran a hundred? Like, I don't see him running at a hundred percent. I don't see him taking on a man, if you get me now. He, he kind of sitting back or he's drinking. Like, he got, he got blocked down yesterday, standing up, hitting a shot, which you just would never, you'd never see. He, and he, look- t- he took his point that time when there was space to turn and go and make something happen, which he normally would. Yeah, it was just, it, it, it just doesn't look himself. I don't know if I've seen him like running at a hundred percent, making a 65 yard dash or go. Do you know what I mean? It, ju- it looks, he just looks like his, um, Maybe his agility or his speed has been kind of stifled a small bit. Yeah, as as the dynamic of a centre forward, I think it's. Oh, so from that point of view, I, I just think, yeah, I just think the dynamic of being. Uh, maybe Michael and I. <laughs> maybe it's the time to drop him back midfield again. You know, yeah, that is one of the things that, if he goes back midfield, I think that, um, the energy. And that consistency that he brings out around the middle of the, of the park, because he lays off a great ball. He's always he has that natural ability to pick out a man, and he has that natural ability to go back and help out in front of Declan as well. You know, um, so that point of view, I just think it may be something that that you might see next weekend. That mm-hmm. Gar- that um, you know, you've Garrod as well. Like Garrod, um, Garrod is. I think for me, it's a mental thing. Um, you know, because the rumour mill that went around last week. You Look, it's the GA. We can't stop these things. These things are always said and, you know, people are not invincible. And I think I think it got to him a little bit yesterday. And overall, I think the Limerick half forward on yesterday will be disappointed other than the, the, the bright spark that was Cahill O'Neill. Like, mm. for normally, for if you look back at the All-Ireland final last year, the scores that came from that half forward line, if you look back from the Cork All-Ireland final, the scores that came from that half forward line, Scores came out of it yesterday were very, very limited. Mm. It was Colin yeah. Neal. And yeah. that's one of the major factors. 